So let's begin with number one. Number one is lighting, sound, and camera quality. So what I mean by that, if I take the mic out of this camera, first of all, Okay, so the sound has now got weaker. So if you don't have a mic, you've got to have a microphone. Let's do number two, let's take off the lights. So now I've took off the main lights and I'm only using a light which is normally for the whole room because I have studio lights. And now you can see it's getting more and more, I would probably say weaker. It doesn't look very professional. And this is what I'm using a camera now. Now, if you're not using a camera, if you're using a mobile phone, this is what it looks like on YouTube. So it doesn't look very great, does it? Now I've took off the lights, I've took off the camera, I've took off the mic, you can see the difference already. The small, small difference that I would strongly recommend. A microphone does not cost much, you've got to get a microphone, it's the number one rule in YouTube. And lighting, if you can't get professional lights, like I have, you could get two lamps. Two lamps are only $4.99 or five at each. It doesn't cost much, and a ca I know a camera does cost a lot of money, but these are small, small changes that you must make to progress on YouTube. Right, lights are back on, mics back in, camera back on, you see the difference straight away? There's just small, small details that you need to do as a YouTuber. Let's move on to number two, and this is quite important as well, consistent uploading. When are you doing your uploads on YouTube? If you're only a casual uploader, make sure it's the same day every week. If it's a Monday, next video needs to be the Monday, and so on and so on. If you are a frequent uploader, make sure people know when it's coming out. So maybe it's every Wednesday, maybe it's uh, every, after every game. So maybe you're doing a game, maybe doing a video after the game, and maybe, maybe doing one in midweek. Like for ourselves, ours is constantly updated almost every day, so people know. You've got to know that you've got to have frequent uploading, not just sporadically where you've got a video once a month. That's not good enough. You've got to have a video on a regular occurrence for you to progress on YouTube. Number three is mix it up your location. Don't always be. If you do your filming in your bedroom, get out your bedroom man. Get out. Get out in the sunlight. Get out in natural daylight. Get out in the garden. Go to the stadium. Do your video at the stadium. You've got to change your location. You've got to mix it up. If you're being repetitive and being at the same location over and over again, it makes it quite boring for a viewer seeing the same thing. Mix it up a little bit. I urge you to do it. You've got to do that. Number four is collab with others. You've got, you've got several of football YouTubers out there, Newcastle fans, you know you've got several of Newcastle YouTubers. Collaborate with them, pinch them and their subscribers. You know, obviously you want to work with them of course, but also when you've got like say Manchester United coming up, get a Manchester United fan on. Yes, it doesn't have to be the, the full times devils. Get someone who's small and maybe it's someone you know who can help you and just talk about Manchester United. I mean, there's loads of Manchester United fans out there that you can grab, that can maybe talk and help with you. Small, small things, collaborate with others, it'll help your channel grow and you can pinch some of their subscribers whilst you're at this. And that leaves me on, on uh, nicely and number five is don't criticise those YouTubers. Ideally you're all all following the, the same, same same thing where you're a Chelsea fan, Liverpool fan, whatever, or a Newcastle fan in our case, is that you're all doing the same similar kind of thing. You, you love the club, you're following it, and if you start criticising other YouTubers, other, other your subscribers are going to look at you and think, Nah, I didn't want that. I don't want someone who's going to be slagging other people off. You've got a loyal subscriber base. You've got to remember that you, the a majority of your subscribers will literally follow you. They really, really will. And if you start slagging them off, that's when they might turn on you. So be professional. Be Number six is basic graphics. As you can see on this video, we've got a border. We've got a logo. Let's take that logo off. Still looks all right, doesn't it? Let's take the border off. Now we've got a plain video. See what I mean? See the difference? There's small, small differences. Let's put that border back on, and let's put no, uh, let's put the logo back on right now. See the difference? It's small, small things. It doesn't just have to be that. There's loads of other stuff you can play with. For example, if I put a picture up now with St James's Park, what I'm doing here is I'm taking the focus away from the actual people who are on the camera, more focus on the subject that we're talking about. And St James's Park is absolutely full to the rafters here. It looks absolutely magnificent, doesn't it? Let's take the photo back off. Let's come back across. See what I've done there? What I've done. Is I've switched the focus onto something else, even though we're still talking. And what that does, that retains your audience. Now, obviously, subscribers and viewers don't realise this, but it's a tactic all YouTubers and TV companies make, is when someone is talking, they'll put, like, a video on top of that, and they'll put a photo on that. Small things like that will help you retain your audience. Number seven, build your social media. Right, you've got YouTube, but what else have you got? If people don't look at your videos, 
you're not going to build your portfolio, are you? So, for example, we've got over 30,000 followers across YouTube and social media. We've got 15, over 15,000 on YouTube and 15,000 on social media. So, if I know if I play uh, share a video, for example, on a Facebook, it'll pick up more and more people. So, what you want to do is build your social media. Do not use your social media just for sharing videos. Don't do that because that looks it looks like you're just doing it to get views. So, what you want to do not there is start start posting things, posting news, your opinion, videos. Um, when I say video, Videos, actually post videos don't share them post them and um, you've got you've got other ideas like polls quizzes do all sorts just to build your portfolio off on social media get a Facebook page you've got to have a Facebook page get a Twitter account that follows you that, that has a YouTube brand on there get an Instagram but on Instagram don't share your thumbnails don't do that share what your share your day don't share Newcastle United Clicks news for example on our Instagram we've changed it completely it's work for us is that what we do is we share what we we're up to we don't say anything about the club we share our day and that's helped us on Instagram small things like that snapchat is another one as well use it build your social media up it'll help your videos and if you are doing football videos where are you are you at the games if you're not at the games your channel is is massively suffering because you've got if you're reporting on Newcastle you look so much better being at the games and maybe you are at the games maybe you just don't don't record you should, you really should, even if it's just a couple of clips, if you're doing a podcast, or you're doing a review, or you're doing whatever, if you put a couple of clips over it whilst you, whilst you talk, again, this could relate back to graphics, it again will help you, you, you see that, you, you know what, it, it gives you more credibility, it gives you more that you know what you're talking about, you were there, you witnessed it, you've seen it, so if you're at the games, use some of that footage, photos, videos, and if you're not, your channel is going to suffer. And is have your own identity on YouTube. What I mean by that is don't copy other YouTubers. If you see a YouTuber doing really, really well, is that gonna work for you? Is it really? No, mix it up a bit. You've gotta have your own identity. So for example, we've got several people who like to vlog. We've got two channels who like to do fan cams. We've got people who like to do reviews and so on. What makes you different to those other channels? That's what you've gotta find. If I want to tune in to your video, your match vlog, for example, what makes your match vlog better to watch than the next person's? Are they similar? Are they almost identical? You've got to have your own identity. It's all fair and well copying other YouTubers, which will do well in the short term, but in the long term, you will suffer because that YouTuber is doing so well, there's no need for a second video to be exactly the same, a second YouTube channel to be the same. There's no need for that. So find your own identity. Find what you want to be different. When you come on video, do your research you know don't read off a screen i mean i've got a plan right and i'll show you this as well i've got a plan what i'm talking about in this video i have a plan every time i step out and do a video there's a plan so the video is free full free flowing it's almost done in one take when you step out on camera do not read scripts go for it be passionate show show a bit of bit of character and just have your video planned as you go out where you're pointing it where you're going with it your next step what you say next you're cutting to a video you're coming back that sort of stuff you've got to have a plan it'll make your videos flow and more enjoyable to watch for the viewer and finally that leaves me nicely on a character do you have character is when you are script reading you do not have a character if you talk like this Newcastle lost a day 2-1 I thought it was really good get rid of that scrap that show a bit of passion if you're absolutely delighted about something show it if you see if you're a Chelsea fan and you say Chelsea win show that you're happy if you're dismantled um, at something or you're unhappy about something show that aggression you know true Geordie um, he has gone far because he shows his aggression. He's a character. You might not know everything about football, but what he has got, he's got a character, and that's got him a long, long way in YouTube. And yes, you could say he's done this and done that, but it, it worked for him. You've got to show something. You've got to show your personality. If you feel like your personality is quite blunt and quite bland, use someone else in the same video you can bounce off as well what we do newcastle fans tv if we feel that like someone is quite bland we'll never put them in a video on their own do that yourself if you feel like you're a bit nervous about showing your character or your opinion get someone who you can bounce off of you it will work wonders for you and you've got to show if you're upset you've got to show that passion because newcastle fans will be watching you and relating to you now they're not going to think that you represent you can well the daft idiots will but i mean the, the more sincere people will not see that you're you're representing the true newcastle fan you represent yourself so show your character on screen so much more final one which i actually forgot to put in the video is stop telling everybody to subscribe on every video every social media post that needs to stop 
stop worrying about gaining the subscribers what happens is on youtube is the views get you the subscribers so if you keep coming on at every single video so subscribe like comment all of that that needs to come out stop seeing it on social media if you stop seeing it you'll see that gradually the numbers will come back because people if they like your content will subscribe to you automatically hopefully you take something away from that you maybe you do some of this maybe you don't do some of this but it, it helped us so maybe help you thanks for watching bye bye